So let's uh, let's jump into it. We can click on rooms and you'll get a list of all your rooms. If you've used the Amazon console before, you're probably familiar with this kind of layout. So what we can do now is click create room. <clears throat> and we go into the create room. AWS Twitch stream chat room. So we give it a name and we have very simple options here. We have room configuration, we have a default and we have a custom. By default, your maximum character, your maximum message length is 500 characters. If you go to custom configuration, you could see that that is the maximum that is allowed. So you can't ever have a message larger than 500 characters. And you can also limit the throughput. You can also limit how many messages get sent per second, the values between zero and 10. I sure hope you would never set this to zero because that would make your users very unhappy. So the default's 10. The maximum that you can do is 10. So we'll leave it at 10. Scroll down a little bit. We have a section for message review handler. Now this is really cool and I've blogged about this a few weeks ago, but essentially this is a way to handle chat moderation, right? If we think about chat moderation, there's really two approaches. There is a automated approach and there's a manual approach, right? With automated moderation, you can essentially intercept every message sent to your chat room. And you could do that with a Lambda function. And that Lambda function receives an event, it gets, it gets invoked and receives a JSON event and that contains all the information about the message. And you have to create a response. So whatever business logic you have, you can review the content, you can use AI, you can use a allow list of key terms or a deny list of key terms, do a regex, whatever you need to do based on the response, you can either allow or deny the chat message. Now, you can also specify a fallback result because you've got a very short window of time in which to return that result. I believe it's 200 milliseconds. So your function has to provide a result within 200 milliseconds or the moderation fails. Now your fallback result is how do you deal with that failure, whether you want to allow or deny the message if it, if it fails to return a result. That brings us to the second form of chat moderation, right? And that is manual. Obviously you have automated with Lambda, you also have manual. And manual moderation is a moderator, like myself, for example, during this stream, I see my chat. If I wanted to come over here and delete a message, I could do that. So that's an example of manual chat moderation, right? Now there's pros and cons to each. There's benefits and, and drawbacks to each, right? Automated messaging, you, uh, people can get, people are, amazing at getting creative <laughs> to find ways around block lists and allow lists, right? They will use the letter one for an I, they will use a lowercase L for a capital I, they will use an at sign for an A, they will use spaces, they will use underscores, they will use hyphens and hashtags and all kinds of amazing ways to work around your block list and allow list. And there's just, no way to stay on top of that. There's, there's always going to be someone that can work around it. Automated message moderation is not perfect. And that's why you kind of your best approach is usually a combination, right? You can catch obvious bad words and you can update your allow list and you can keep that up to date. So now that we got that out of the way, while we're here, let's go ahead and do this. Well, we're going to have a fallback result of allow and we're going to create a Lambda function. It's going to be really, really simple, but it's going to work. So we're going to call this the streaming on streaming chat moderation function. All good, create function, All right? So we have a handler here and we're going to return an object. And in that object, if we jump over to the documentation, so this is the request syntax. This is the, when you get a message sent to your chat room, this is the format, the JSON format of the message that's going to come in. It's going to have a content message ID, blah, blah, blah. And here's your response syntax. So we have to return content then we have the review result. That's going to be allow or deny. If we want to send a reason for the denial or the, the, the deletion, you can send a reason as an attribute. So if we come back here 
and we want to return create a return object and we're going to have a re review result of allow so in this case let's say we're going to censor and um, Maybe that's a bad word, but we're going to modify the content of the message that's delivered back to our chat room, right? So we'll say review result allow content. We're going to use event.content. And let's just do, <laughs> let's do an amazing, very complex algorithm. This is a machine learning uh, AI slash deep learning slash metaverse uh, method. It's called a regex. So we're going to replace the word, the phrase bad word. Yes, bad word with modified version of the string bad word. Additionally, we need to return or we can return uh, attributes, as I said, and we as we saw in the docs, we can specify the reason because you said bad word. So there's our Lambda, deploy it, we're good to go, good to use that in our chat room. Come back here. SOS, we can now search for and associate our Lambda function. And we click create room and our room is done.